Tech News! Ho <laughs> ho! They do the body good. Yeah! Um, wahoo! Facebook may have a stranglehold on the VR headset market with the Oculus Quest 2, but at least they're showing it some love. The company has announced updates that will allow users to wirelessly stream PC VR games to the Quest 2 using Oculus Air Link, because Oculus Link, no air, does the same thing but requires a cable. So that makes sense. Now this is something you could already do with the Quest 2 using the virtual desktop app, but it looks like Facebook has had enough of people tinkering with their special baby. You're supposed to use it this way and you have to log in with your Facebook account. You own the headset and we own you. What's so hard to understand? The Quest 2's display is also getting a 120 hertz update, which is actually sick because it could only do 72 hertz when the headset launched last year. That is sick. I know. It's like fa Facebook, you're doing cool things? Take my money. <laughs> As it was with the 90 hertz update, only a few apps will support 120 hertz refresh rates right away, but no doubt more will join the party as soon as they perform the correct rituals laid out in the Facebook sacred tomes. Ah, you didn't let them collect your voice data. No high frame rates for you. Go to confession. Microsoft suddenly decided to unveil the new Surface Laptop 4 along with a bunch of accessories on a Tuesday in the middle of April. So weird. They are so quirky. I love They're Microsoft. Like the Chanel, uh, hardware. They don't care. The new Surface laptop is noteworthy because Microsoft has apparently decided to double down on making Ryzen processors an option for buyers, but they've only made Ryzen's last gen 4000 series mobile CPUs an option, while the Intel models come with the latest 11th gen mobile chips. That's our Microsoft. <laughs> and there's a twist. So quirky. Although these aren't just any Ryzen mobile chips, they're special Surface Edition processors, so you know they're they're better somehow. If that doesn't satisfy your inner Ryzen fan though, you could get one of the new Ryzen 5000 series APUs AMD just announced, although you can only get them in a pre-built PC. Look, I'm sorry. Pre-built not by Microsoft? N someone else. On the plus side though, Microsoft also unveiled the Surface Headphones 2 Plus for business, in addition to a couple less premium headsets and a conference speaker, all with dedicated Teams buttons. Yay! We've been asking for this for years! What does the button do? Whatever it does, it doesn't do it consistently. Who knows? Let's find out. Whoa! Yeah, and after being called out by Apple for not making enough money on its Epic Games Store investment, Epic Games has gotten more investments from other companies to the tune of $1 billion. 200 million of that comes from Sony, which only strengthens the already thick bond between the companies, with the rest coming from a bunch of investment funds and partners you probably haven't heard of. The new funding round pushes Epic's value to $28.7 billion, with Tim Sweeney remaining the controlling shareholder, and it places Epic in a slightly more comfortable position ahead of its App Store face-off with Apple next month. I heard that if App Epic wins, they get to put a Tim Cook skin in Fortnite. And, it, and it'll be bad. It'll be a bad character. You won't want to pick Did him. Say cook skin? Cook skin. Ew. Gross. <laughs> you know, it's not gross, the quick bits, yeah. which today are brought to you by Manscaped, yeah. the grooming company that got you covered from head to toe, yeah. or rather, slightly more uncovered. You're shaving stuff. Their Perfect Package 3.0 kit is designed to make grooming below the waist easy with the Lawnmower 3.0 and some other goodies like the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver sprays, which will keep things nice and fresh down under. <laughs> Plus, Manscaped is donating a portion of every purchase towards the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. So get 20% off with the promo code TECH and join the fight against testicular cancer at the link below. Uh-uh-uh, only quick bits for me. I quit slow bits a long time ago. I'll just leave now. Discord has announced that it may mark entire servers as not safe for work if there's enough lewd content in there, and that means that iOS users will be banned from accessing those entire servers in accordance with Apple's App Store guidelines. People are comparing this story to that of Tumblr, which Apple removed from the App Store until the blogging platform banned all adult content in 2018. So I guess it's becoming clear that you should get an iPhone for your kids, in an Android for yourself. My it's phone has training wheels. <laughs> TCL won't stop showing off wacky new phone concepts. Their latest is the Fold and Roll, a seven inch phone that unfolds and then extends into a 10 inch tablet sized display. I mean, LG's gone. Who else is gonna make these wacky phones that we love? TCL also announced a handful of TCL 20 series regular phones, but I don't care about those. Put a sucky 3D display on there that doesn't work uh, in there or something, and now we're talking. Apple has announced a spring-loaded hardware event for next Tuesday, April 20th. 
Uh, after Siri spilled the beans a bit earlier than she was supposed to, must have found her way into Steve's, Steve's secret stash, still hidden on campus. <laughs> We're supposed to see some new iPads, but oh, Samsung also has a hardware event a week later with the most powerful Galaxy. It's so powerful, man. <laughs> After being leaked a bajillion times, Spotify has finally officially announced the an in-car music player called the Car Thing. No. That's actually the name. <laughs> it's a little display that can be controlled with both the built-in dial or by voice using the Hey Spotify keyword. Spotify is actually giving car thing away to Spotify premium subscribers, but you need an invite to get one. And when it actually launches for real, it'll cost 80 bucks. Everything about this is so unusual, I don't know what else to say. I'm not familiar, I guess it's a car thing. Duh, stupid. And the FBI has hacked hundreds of servers that were hacked previously by the group called Hafnium. Haven't they suffered enough? Well, it turns out Hafnium left software backdoors open in the servers it stole data from, so the FBI went in through those backdoors and deleted them. The FBI says it's trying to inform the server owners via email of its actions, which is probably a good idea, but it also makes the whole thing a lot less cool. Like, Batman would just take off, man. Batman would just get out of it. It's cool, your backdoor's got a backdoor. <laughs> Time for us to just take off. What? You're not talking about Coinbase IPO? Wow. This is more impactful news the, the, than the, this. More impactful to you. Time for us to just take off. Come back on Friday for more tech news, unless we gave it to you before you even know we did it. <laughs>